Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This is a B1 level science lesson and today we're going to be talking about earth science. So what do you know about earth science and what topics do you think that you learn about? And here are some pictures that might give you some clues. So we're going to look at each image and tell what is happening in each classroom. And here are some words, verbs and nouns to help. Examine, paint, measure, hold, check, look, and observe. And nouns, telescope, rainfall, model, microscope, and mag magnifying glass. So here's an example. Uh, the boy is pointing at the model of the Earth in the solar system. And the teacher is holding the model and listening to the students. So see if you can make some sentences for each of these pictures. You can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to, to continue. All right, so we want to match each earth science theme with the correct image. So I'll read through these first. Geology, oceanography, meteorology, astronomy, environmental science, and paleontology. All right, so the first, I believe, would be meteorology, it has to do with the weather and natural disasters. Astronomy is number two, the planets. She's testing the water here, so that would be environmental science. He's looking at um, observing rocks, so that would be geology. Number five is oceanography, and number six, paleontology. All right, now um, I'd like you to match each earth science topic with its description. You can pause the video and try this on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. Okay, so the study of the earth's atmosphere and weather patterns is meteorology. The study of the universe beyond the Earth is astronomy. The study of the Earth's environment is environmental science. The study of past life on Earth is paleontology. The study of the Earth's structure and materials that it is made from is geology. And the study of the Earth's oceans is oceanography. All right, so now I'd like you to put each word or phrase into the correct category. So the category is geology, oceanography, meteorology, environmental science, astronomy, and paleontology. So we'll use different colors for each of these. So first we'll do geology. So geology would have to do with rocks. Um, let's see, minerals, mm. perhaps a mountain maybe would be under geology. Okay, we'll switch colors. Go to oceanography. So oceanography would um, deal with marine life. Perhaps um, a wave, the ocean waves. The tide. All right, and next we'll go to meteorology. So meteorology would have to do with weather, a hurricane, clouds, precipitation,
Perhaps climate, maybe climate forecast and temperature. And then environmental science, um, the ecosystem, natural resources, pollution, astronomy would include planets, the sun, the solar system, telescope, the moon, stars, and the galaxies. And then paleontology will make purple. So fossils, evolution, extinct, and era. And we need to put a volcano into something. I would say that probably goes in geology is a volcano. All right, so look at each image and what is the meaning of the words in bold? So volcanic eruptions form new islands in the ocean. So form just means to come into existence, um, to come into being, to be created. Glaciers are melting, which is causing the sea levels to rise. So melting means that a frozen solid, um, when it's the temperature is increased, it turns back to its liquid form. Water evaporates on hot sunny days. So evaporate is when a liquid uh, is turned into a gas. And rivers flow toward the ocean. Uh, flow just means to travel in a certain direction. The earth rotates once every 24 hours. So to rotate is to turn. Plants recycle carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. So recycle is to use again. Wind and water erode rocks and make canyons. So erode is to be worn down. And the plates under the earth shift with time, causing the land to move. Again, shift just means to change position. All right, so we're going to read about continental drift and then answer the questions. You can pause the video and read on your own, or you can follow along as I read. Continental drift is the theory that explains how continent, continents move on Earth. The theory suggests that in the past, all the continents were connected in a single landmass called Panagia. Panagea. Over millions of years, the continents slowly moved apart from each other to their positions today. The movement of tectonic plates or large pieces of Earth's crust caused this change. The movement of tectonic plates can also cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. So what is continental drift? So it's the theory that explains how continents move on Earth. And what is Pangaea? Um, it, it's the, it was the single land mass. And how did continents move to their current positions? So over millions of years, they slowly moved apart from each other. And what are some effects of tectonic plate movement? So not only changing the positions, they can also cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. So talking about the past, when we talk about the history of Earth, we use sequencing words, um, reference words, and prepositions of time. 
a go. So a go is used to say when past events happened, going back from today towards the past. And the verb is in the past tense. So dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic era, which began 245 million years ago and lasted for 180 million years. Humans evolved 130,000 years ago. And from now, the opposite of ago is from now. The earth will be warmer 100 years from now if we don't do something to stop global warming. So what was different about the world 1 million years ago? And what do you think about our planet? What you think will be different about our planet 1 million years from now? All right, so now we're going to look at the timeline of the Earth's history uh, and the important uh, events. Um, so just look at this, the timeline showing, um, so the Earth formed from dust that collected from the sun's birth. Uh, the Earth's core and crust are formed. Uh, then the first oceans um, formed on the Earth. The first life single cell organisms appeared on Earth. Oxygen came to the Earth's atmosphere. The first animals evolved. The first vertebrates or fish evolved. The first land plants evolved. The first vertebrates or reptiles evolved and ate the plants on the land. The first dinosaurs evolved from lizards. Dinosaurs became extinct and mammals evolved and modern humans evolved. All right, so when did the dinosaurs live? So if we look back at the timeline, the dinosaurs lived from 225 million years ago until 65 million years ago. What era was 150 million years ago? So 150 million years ago would be about here. So that would be the age of dinosaurs. And on this um, timeline, it looks like that would be the Mesozoic age. Um, and actually, perhaps the start of the Jurassic age. And what, what developed first, reptiles or bears? Well, reptiles developed first. And when was the Triassic period? So let's see, the Triassic period is here in the Mesozoic age, um, still during the time of the dinosaurs. All right, and then before and after. After means later than, and before means earlier than. So the sentence structure would be after or before, plus the subject, plus the verb, or after or before, plus the verb, plus ing. So we can use past simple or past perfect, or yes, past simple or past perfect. So past tense, the weather forecast had warned people before the flood happened, after the flood erupted, there was lots of damage. And then we have the present simple. After studying the layers of rock, the geologists can identify the different periods of Earth's history. Before a hurricane comes, meteorologists can see its path and predict where it will travel. And the future tense, we use future simple plus present simple. We will learn about rocks and minerals after we finish the unit on plate tectonics. We will leave the town before the earthquake comes. All right, so now try to match each word with its image. So volcanic eruption would be number one. Vegetation is number two. Fossil, number six. Landslide is number three. 
a wildfire is number four, and a wave is number five. All right, so match the beginning of each sentence to the ending. And you can pause the video, try these on uh, your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. So before it rains, the sky may look dark and cloudy. After an earthquake, there may be aftershocks, which can cause more damage. Before a volcano erupts, there may be signs such as an increase in earthquakes near the volcano and an increase in temperature around the volcano. And after a dinosaur becomes extinct, its bones may become fossils. Okay, so before a wildfire, there may be dry conditions, high temperatures, and strong winds that, ca that can cause the fire to spread quickly. After a drought, the land may become dry and plants might not grow. Before a tsunami, an underwater earthquake or landslide may create a large wave that can travel very far. And after a heavy rainfall or an earthquake, a landslide could be possible. All right, prepositions of time. So we're going to read the text and answer the questions. We use in to discuss longer periods of time in the past. So in the Mesozoic area, the Earth experienced major changes. Dinosaurs were alive during this time. During can also be used to show a period or time range, and during is followed by a noun. Other animals that evolved during this time include birds, mammals, and reptiles, such as crocodiles and turtles. So what animals lived during the Paleozoic era? So Paleozoic looks like we have a lot of um, marine animals, fish, um, some insects, plants. And during what era did mammals start to live on the earth? Well, that would be during the Cenozoic period. All right, so we're gonna practice with time expressions. So complete each sentence with during, before, or after. You can pause the video, try these on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, after the storm passed, the skies cleared and a rainbow appeared. So after the ice age, the climate was much warmer. During the hurricane, strong winds caused trees to fall down. Before the arrival of humans, many species lived in different ecosystems. After the forest fire, new plants began to grow. Before the solar system formed, there was, there was, giant, there was a giant cloud of gas and dust in space. Uh, during the thunderstorm, there was lightning and thunder in the sky. And during the volcanic eruption, hot lava came out of the crater. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, and if you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.